Hello everyone, it's me, it's the guy with the unreasonable amount of routers around. This time it is a Linksys E900 and we're going to factory reset it. So this is how you factory reset this Linksys E900 router. Let's have a quick look at it first. It's a very strange design, it's not much you can see on the uh, front or sides. Uh, the only things really are on the underside where there's the label here saying Linksys, it's got a serial number, it's MAC address and it's WPS pin. It uses 12 volts and 0.5 amps on the back of the router. It's going to be quite difficult to see and not have it being blurry. Let's see if I can focus on that. Yep, a little bit better. You've got the four Ethernet ports and a yellow WAN port. A WPS light or wireless light and a WPS button, power socket and a power switch. So to factory reset this router you need a paper clip or this one has a large enough hole that something like a ballpoint pen or a pencil will probably work and I'm going to hold the reset button down for five seconds. I'll let you know when I'm going to press it and I'm going to press it now. That should be about five seconds and let go. The wireless light went out at about the five second mark or four second mark and uh, now I've let go all of these lights came on and uh, is now going to be in the process of starting up. I will say this one is running the tomato variant of the firmware. Pretty sure that's the same as uh, the reset procedure on the stock firmware, but I do apologize if not. So still in the process of booting up. I'm going to assume that when it's fully booted this wireless light or WPS light will come on solid again and I'll let you know when I get ping responses on my computer. Okay, wireless light is now on solid and on the default IP address of 192.168.1.1 I am now getting ping responses. So to factory reset this Linksys E900 router, in summary Hold the reset button down for five seconds, let go, and let it reboot. There we go. Hopefully that video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.